This, this car, car could be systematic. Hydromatic. Ultramatic. Why couldn't he be sliding? He's lightning. We get some overhead lifters and four bow quads, oh yeah. Keep talking, walk, keep talking. Evil engine cut off, chrome painted rods, oh yeah. You know, when you come across a problem, an easy problem, which you think you're going to find an easy solution quickly because it's an easy problem, but you can't find it unless somebody else tells you how or unless you search for hours, well, it happened to me this week. Oh, I guess I see you somewhere around. Just wanted to share a few experiences with you guys. You know, recently I've received a lot of uh, accessories for my Mavic, but I haven't tested any of those recently. So yesterday I decided to, you know what, let's bring the camera, let's document the whole thing and make a video uh, in the field. It will be different, it will be cool. So I jumped in my car. So it's a little bit late, 5.30 in the afternoon, but I've decided well, I needed some challenge today. I needed to go on expedition. I needed to do something with the rest of my day. So, jumped in my car with all my gear, my equipments, and uh, let's try to figure out what I'll be able to do with, are you still there? Then I came on location and as I was ready to start flying, I realized that I had a problem. I didn't have any signal from the camera to my monitor. It was pitch black and I've ruined a day of shooting. But now I had a problem to fix and it took me about two hours to figure out the problem, the solution, which was very simple, but you know when you don't know it. I'm gonna show you today what was the problem, how I fixed it, so if ever you come across that same situation, you'll be able to fix it in less than a second. So let's bring the Mavic and the controller and start everything. So now everything is connected together and this is exactly what I had um, when I was in the field. I had the display, but no image. So I was going through all the settings, trying to find what was the solution. At some point I thought maybe my new cable was not good, which was not the case. I then came to realize that the only thing that was causing this problem was the original cable on the side here. I just had to unplug it and wait about four seconds for the image to show on my screen. Now that the problem was fixed, I just had to go back the very next day, start everything all over again, and this is how it went. Today, it's all about this here. We're gonna go fly this thing. Today, um, we will try those um, ND filters. It's not a bright day. Uh, it's uh, mostly an overcast day, but I think the sun is about to come out this way here. Yeah, well, the sun is right there. So, hey, maybe the luck is gonna be on our side today. Let's hope it will. Yeah, this is a very quiet place here. That will be the place for today. So I came back on location, started building everything up again. Okay, so there's a lot of setting up to be done here. So I'm going to start by taking the drone. I'm going to work my way through. Put this a little bit higher here. So I suggest you keep the clamp on here if you want to put the ND filter. So that way you're going to put uh, less pressure on the, uh, the motors. So that's what it looks like. I'm gonna go with this and I'm gonna put the visor on top here. Since the sun is very low, it will give us a very, very good um, chance to see how those things perform. Well, since I'm gonna be flying over the water, I don't think I will put 
those on here. Maybe it's, I'm making a mistake here, but uh, I'm going to go with without them. So I think I'm ready to turn everything on. See this here is a little bit uh, wobbling, it's not stable. There's a loose here which might uh, might become a uh, pain in the ass, but uh, we'll see. So I was able to see an image. That was great, great news. I have lifted my drone, started flying. Well, it's very stable. I am now recording and I'm going to go over So now you see I'm going to have to put my shutter speed because the sun is hiding, but it, it will change. It's a matter of time. Okay, now I'm going to go this way here. Try to try to auto focus further. Okay. So now we're flying with 32. I kept on pushing on the middle of my screen to focus at infinity to have beautiful landscape shots. And for some reasons, it, it, it looked like it was not sharp. It was not focusing, but I was not sure. So I said to myself, maybe it's just because I have an ND filter in front. My image is different. I, it's just, I'm not used to it. I kept on flying my drone. I had some very nice flights over the water and uh, I was happy. I was, I said, well, it's been a while. So I'm, it, it's coming back to me. So I, I was sure that I had some very great shots. I was flying very low to the water. Yep, it's here on the water, over the water here. It's very, very close to the water, 20 feet. And now I'm going at the end of this here. Now I'm gonna to try to make a turn without stopping, just slowing down, but trying to take back the control of my monitor, of my drone, because I used to, uh, to be good at it, and since uh, I haven't flown it very much lately, I became um, a little bit weak at it. So now, should be coming back at me here, and I'm gonna start slowing down. And um, I think I'm gonna land this one here. Yep, it's coming our way. So I'm gonna land it, land it here. That was a very, very nice flight. I really enjoyed it. I think it was one of my best flight in a long time. I had a good control over it. Let's see, I was shooting at a 1 50th of a second. So my shutter speed was pitch perfect. I had 100 ISOs. So everything was fine to have a good image quality. I can't wait to see uh, in, uh, on my computer what it looks like, if it can match better the footage of my camera when I shoot with my camera. Because the goal here is to, uh, is to use footage from my drone in my movies, especially short films when I will be making a feature film. Maybe I will upgrade my drone, possibly. I can't wait to, um, uh, to see the um, Mavic 2 Pro. I've seen a lot of tutorials about it. I'm a bit... Um, Disappointed that uh, DJI didn't uh, gave me the chance to test it out. I would have probably bought it if they would. Um, but anyway, I might buy one eventually for sure. So I couldn't wait to come back and watch that footage, but I said to myself, let's try the ND16 now because the sun is going down. So I've changed the filter. I went for a second uh, flight, which also went very great. Okay, so let's make another flight here, this time with the uh, 16 ND filter and let's See the difference? I know I'm in this area here, so let's bring it back home. Then 
this happened. over there it felt okay guys I crashed my drone so I'm gonna run on the other side and I crashed my drone again but you know what seconds before I didn't even knew I was in trouble everything was clear ahead there were those trees on the left I decided to go around them and then I came back on my path and then there were some of the trees that I haven't seen and I hit those trees and it went down but I didn't heard any splash didn't saw any waves on the water, even though it was on the other side of the lake. My only concern was, will I find it? I have to run around the lake, and hopefully those kids that were playing there moments before, hopefully they didn't steal it from me. So I started packing everything very, very fast. I ran to my car, jumped in my car, ran around the lake, and when I arrived on location, nobody was there. So I said, oh, either they were gone with it, or they didn't came started walking by the water. I've dropped my Maverick somewhere here. And trust me, I'm gonna find it. It was a, a mud beach and there were footsteps. So I said to myself, oh man, maybe those kids came and they saw it and they picked it and they, they ran. Maybe those kids took my drone. So I kept on walking. It just hit the branches of something here. Not sure if I'm even close to it. Then the footsteps were stopping. My guess is that it would be here. Okay. I said, oh, my drone must have felt here. They picked it, and they, but I said, hey, let's keep on walking. I kept on walking. Let's try to see if I'm close to it and maybe 10 to 20 feet, I saw a propeller. Half of a propeller, a blade was laying on the, on the mud, kept on walking, find the other piece. So I said to myself, okay, my drone is here. There were a log, there were a tree laying on the side here. It was totally on its side. I went over it to take a look on the other side and there it was. Okay, so I found my drone. It's here. It was in the bottom here. I broke a propeller. Everything else seems to be fine but I've lost my, um, my gimbal cover, which should be close here. I found the two pieces of the propeller here on the ground. And um, yeah, I'm a lucky guy. I told you that I always fly with my propeller guards on. I was not flying with my propeller guards this time. And I don't know if it would have saved me something or not, but uh, that's a lesson. So from the moment I had my Mavic in my hand, I was safe. I start looking at it. The only thing that was missing was the, the lens hood. So I started searching for the lens hood and I found it within a minute. Oh, there it is. There it is, just right here. But you know what? The visor is not there, so. And if I find the visor that goes on this, I'm a very, very lucky guy. But I will, because I am. So I started searching for the visor. I kept on searching for over half an hour. Then I said to myself, you know what? $15, I can live with that today. It's a darn good price to pay for this experience. So I decided to let go of the, the visor. I ran to my car, couldn't wait to get back in my studio to Take a look at that great footage that I shot just before that fatal crash to find out that everything was out of focus. At the moment of recording this episode, I still don't know what the problem was. Was it because of the poor quality of the ND filters? Is it because my camera couldn't see through those ND filters to focus because it was too dark? Is it the settings of my uh, monitor that were, that were totally off? I don't know, but I will have to figure that and go back a third day to come back with some decent footage to show you the result and my, my uh, appreciation, my opinion about those ND filters. But as of now, I don't have any idea if they're good or not. So you and I will have to be patient, 
for the next episode to find out the quality of those ND filters. Now, for those of you who would be tempted to throw names at me because, hey, this guy is a nut, he doesn't know how to fly his drone, blah, blah, blah. I have one thing to say to those guys. If you've never crashed your drone, you've never lived. Get some overhead lifters for about quads, oh yeah. Keep talking, boy, keep talking. Even if you can cut off the chrome painted rods, oh yeah. We get already, I'm sure you get already. With the four speed on the floor, they're never waiting at the door. You know that ain't the shit, we get a lot of shit. Freeze lightning, go, 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 go. Freeze lightning, you're burning up the quarter mile. Freeze lightning, go, 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 go,